Hey guys, this is an Epson Workforce printer, WF3640. Um, today I'm going to show you how to remove a print head and put it back on. Um, I have removed the top of the printer so we can have better view of what things look like. Um, on this particular printer, you don't have to remove the top of the printer that, like, that I have removed already, but it would be a little bit easier to do so if you removed it. Um, just use a shorter screwdriver if you don't want to remove the top of the printer but um let's get started on this so i unplugged the printer while it was moving the carriage and uh that reason was if it gets stuck in here it's a little hard it's not possible to open this door so i can move it freely while the printer is unplugged i can lift this uh, cover and we don't have to remove it it's not going to be in our way I need a Phillips screwdriver and we're going to remove this screw here. I'm going to set the screw aside and not lose it. Then we're going to pull up this plastic piece right here. Without breaking it. Just clips off. Here we have this piece out. Now we're going to carefully remove this. Um, controller board the contacts contact board for the print uh, for the cartridges just from one side we need to unclip it gently and pull it up same thing on this side So when we unclip it, it comes right out. Be very careful, there's a connection on the back. You're gonna disconnect it. Now, this plastic piece comes off very easily. After that, then we have three screws here that are holding this print head. You're gonna take them out. Here, I'll show you a better view here. There's three screws, there's this one here, this one here that I already unscrewed, and this one. So, we're going to take those out. Okay, and when we got the three screws out, we're going to remove them from here. We're going to set them aside. Now our print head is free of any obstacles or screws. Um, and we're going to pull it up straight up. Don't just do one side. Um, you can uh, use cords to help you pull it up and it comes out just like this here again try not to damage anything um, it comes out like so here we're gonna disconnect it here and disconnect it on this side pulling it to the right our print head is now out of the printer so to put it back we're gonna do everything in reverse um, we're gonna put it Gonna connect it first, and we're gonna make sure it's connected correctly. Just lands right in there, putting the wires all back. You know, put the three screws back in here. Then we're gonna put this plastic piece into the printer after we did the screws. And we're gonna connect this board. Slide it right in there. We're going to put this over after we correct all the cores in here. We're going to put this over and our print head should be back and running after we clean it or if we're replacing one. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. Have a great day.